everybody, I'm Nitin and today in this PSLE 2018 Paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 7. In my channel, I aim to help all of you master all those concepts out there, okay? So let's jump straight into question 7. Okay, this over here is question 7 and this question is testing us on area and perimeter, okay? So we are going to do part A first, so let's read part A first. The pattern on tile A, B, C, D over here, A, B, C, D shows three overlapping squares of different sizes. E, F equals to F, E. Okay. And E, A, E equals to E, D. Okay. So I think you can understand this. So part A, what fraction of the tile A, B, C, D is shaded? Okay. Now that we have read the question, let's highlight the key information. So the pattern on tau ABCD shows overlapping squares of different sizes. Okay, this is really important. EF is equal to EFE and EE is equal to ED. Okay, so this will help us solve this question. Okay, so first they are telling us that AF is equal to FE. So basically, E over here and F is equal to this length over here okay after that they are telling us that a e so basically they're telling us that this whole length okay from here all the way to here okay is equal to e and d so from here here. Wow, this that's good. Okay, now from all of this, there's one similar thing. Okay, so basically, so this length is equal to this length, right? So basically, when two lengths are joined together, it makes this length, right? And this length is equal to this length. Okay. So, can you see something? This thing over here, this part over here, is a square. And if I draw another thing over here, just take a look. This is amazing. Okay. So, if I draw another line over here, This becomes a square too, right? This also becomes a square. So can you see this over here also becomes a square. So when two squares make this big length over here, that means that there's supposed to be another two squares here as well. Okay. So, I'm going to change this whole figure into squares. So, if I cut it in this way, it will give me squares too. Okay. So, there's another three squares. And if I cut it fully right, it will give me some squares. Oh, look at this. So, I'm going to cut it like this. So, there's some squares here. And then after that, over here, I'm going to cut it some squares there okay and then after that i'm going to cut it over here so it's going to give me another some squares okay so some squares there and some squares here okay so remember that um there's supposed to be two squares here right there's supposed to be two squares here right so basically, I need to cut it. I need to cut these into two squares. So first of all, I'm going to cut it over here. So cut it in the middle. So somewhere around the middle, okay? So cut it there. Somewhere around the middle. And it will also give me two squares. Okay? So here is one square and here is another square. After that, I cut it somewhere around in the middle again. So you give me another squares. 
so basically this is not drawn to scale okay but you'll give me squares so there's one square here two square three square four square five square six square seven square eight square nine square ten square eleven square twelve square thirteen square fourteen square fifteen square sixteen square so there's a total of sixteen squares they're asking us to find the fraction of tau eb cd which is shaded so if you can't properly write there's actually 13 shaded parts there's 13 shaded squares after that when you count the total right there's actually 16 so in order to find the fraction i just need to put shaded over total so basically 13 over 16 is the answer for part a okay now before moving to part b right see this image over here i'm basically going to duplicate it hit it over i'm going to duplicate each of them over here so basically when i draw the lines you'll get this many squares like this okay so i think you can understand that so since that i've made it like this right they're telling us for figure b well let, let's uh uh, highlight the key information for part B while reading it. So, figure Y is made up of four such tiles. So, like this one, it's actually duplicated into four times. Okay, so that's basically four of them. Okay, after that, they're telling us that the area of the unshaded part of figure Y is 81 cm square. So, what I'm highlighting right now is 81 cm square. Okay. So wait a minute, I'm highlighting it. So all of this is 81 cm square, the yellow color portion, which I have highlighted. Okay, so this will be useful to solve the question later. And then they are telling us that, to ask the question, they are telling us what is the total area of the shaded parts in figure Y. So they are asking us, the the shaded parts so all of these parts not except the yellow okay so we count the unshaded parts first so there's one okay let me put dots so there's one unshaded part two unshaded three unshaded four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so there's twelve unshaded parts okay so since this is very less you can actually count it okay but for the rest, right, you cannot count this too many. So what I'm going to do is that from this one small, right, there's actually 13 unshaded parts. So I'm going to find the total of them. So in order to find total, right, because there's four of these exact duplicates, right, so 13 times 4 in order to find the shaded parts. So it's just 13 times 4, which is 52 shaded parts. Okay, now they're telling us that the, the area of the unshaded parts of figure y is 81 cm square so 12 unshaded parts is equal to 81 cm square in order to find one part how much is it so i'm going to take 81 divided by 12 which is 6.75 cm square so you know that you know that one square now is equal to 6.75 cm square okay so this is really important Okay, so now that we know this, isn't it really easy to find the, sh the total area of the shaded parts? We know the number of shaded parts, which is 52, and we know that one square, which is 6.75 cm square. So, in order to find the area of the shaded parts, we just take 52 times 6.75 cm square. So, it will give us an answer of 30, 351 cm square. So, this is the answer for part B, okay? So, I hope you understand my explanation. So, this is basically the answer for part B. Okay? So, I hope you understand my explanation for this question. Question 7. Uh, testing us on area and perimeter. Okay? So, thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!